Hey folks, here's this terrible town. I'm on a par three, and this par three was notorious for producing a lot of bogeys. It's very severe green. Again, we got a pusher wind. So I brought my terrible, not so terrible towel out. I've already got it positioned so that again you can see my ball line in the direction to which my ball line is going, and you can see where my toe line is. So that's got the whole green in front of me, which should allow and give me some confidence to really just make a good turn and release the golf club. Let's see how we do. So I've been in my thinking box, got myself educated. Now we're going to move into the do box. Set the golf club, get nice and comfortable. Just a good, comfortable turn. Not the prettiest of golf swings, it kind of topped it actually. But I've got a 25 footer. So again, when there are enough good fundamentals going on in your golf swing, starting with your foundation, you're gonna have a much better roof and you're gonna get, even with that homely golf swing, better results. Happens to us all. Towel, get one. Okay, here's where that thin little beauty showed, uh, ended up on the putting green, and this thing is like an army helmet, as I remember. So again, this is all going to be speed based, there's going to be a lot of movement in this putt. So again, I'm going to give myself that sidewalk that we talked about, I'm just going to roll down the sidewalk. It's not about being perfect, it's about keeping it simple. So I see my pathway, slide my putter in, I'm looking down through the side holding my blind strike. Take it back, take it through, hold my finish. And if the flag had been out, the ball was down. That's why you take a flag out, folks. Never leave a flag in. That hole's barely big enough for a golf ball. Remember that. Get your blind strike and you can putt like that too. 